What are the classical virtues and why are they still relevant? It's, it's incredible to me uh, as a philosopher that a talk of virtue would strike the contemporary world as somehow quaint or archaic, as though the latest cell phone were going to solve all our problems. It, it, it's absolutely unbelievable. The four classical virtues of Hellenic civilization were courage, justice, wisdom, and moderation, sometimes called temperance. It's important to note that these four virtues are all related to one another and cannot be really understood or practiced in isolation. So why are they still relevant? How about justice? Is there still injustice in the world? I think so. Possibly too much of it in certain areas. And so people who strive for justice would need, for example, courage in order to fight in a righteous way for the causes that they espouse, the just causes, and also people who do so, even if they are victorious, will need wisdom in order that the justice that they dispense will actually be of a wise kind and not an unwise kind. So immediately you can see the relationship here. Let me bring it home in another way. This uh, virtue of uh, moderation or temperance is very little understood, and yet it's one of the core lessons not only from Shakyamuni's middle way, the idea that overindulgence or over abstemiousness are going to lead us astray and ultimately make us unhappy, whereas finding a balance is going to be productive and ultimately serendipitous. This was also taught by Confucius in China and also by Aristotle in his Ethic of the Golden Mean. And when people fail to heed the important moral lessons that derive from temperance or moderation, we end up with things like the economic meltdown of 2008. Excuse me, the primary cause of the collapse of Western economies, not only the recession in the USA, but also the sovereign debt crises now that are unfolding in Europe, is avarice, plain and simple. The bankers, the insurers, the stock market, and even ordinary people trying to flip their houses every three months to, to, to gain a very quick profit. This is what inflated the bubble at all levels. It was naked avarice, and it was inevitable that this would collapse. Avarice is one of the vices that obtains from not being moderate in one's expectations and demands on life. If billions of people had heeded this virtue, then perhaps we could have averted the economic collapse and all the suffering that followed from it. So to ignore any of these virtues, to ignore moderation and end up on this going over the abyss of avarice is just illustrative of the importance that virtues play in our daily life. So is classical wisdom and virtue uh, somehow inadequate today because the world has changed so drastically since the time of the ancients? The world has changed remarkably in many ways, but human nature, I submit to you, has not changed one iota since those times. Biological evolution is extremely slow on technological timescales. While tomorrow, everyone in cell phones and computers and cars, you know, are obsolete already, and even the things on the drawing board will be obsolete the week after next, human nature has not changed. If Socrates could come back for a day and look at the evening news, he, he would be completely at home in the sense that, oh, I see the world has still not solved the major problems with which it afflicts itself. There are still problems of injustice and ignorance and intolerance and poverty and all the rest. That hasn't changed. What's great about human beings, artistic creativity and uh, productivity and sharing and, and trying to build a better world hasn't changed either. So why would anyone assume that just because science and technology are that much more advanced, therefore the humanistic side of existence is, is somehow obsolete. That's a huge mistake.